Hello there, my name's Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geek here, and today we're going to have a look at how we set up the Stream Deck, which is a set of buttons which you sit on your desk there, and it does various things. And we're going to set it up using Better Touch Tool. I was listening to the Automators podcast, and they were reckoning that it's better to use the Better Touch Tool to set this up rather than using the Elgato software. And I'm giving it a go to see what happens, see how it goes. In any case, I wasn't too impressed with the Elgato software, so I thought, well, why not give it a go? After getting the MacBook M1 Pro, I moved all the settings for the Stream Deck from my iMac, and when I got them across, most of them worked, but some of them didn't because I didn't bring over all of the shortcut to keys combinations I set up previously, uh, because I started off with a completely new computer with an absolutely new sort of clean setup, and I thought, well, I'll do it bit by bit, but... Now I've come to the point where I really do need to actually think about setting up the Stream Deck and getting more use out of it. So let's get in there and see what we can do with it. So here we are at my desk here and I've got a screen over to the left. That's a smaller screen here and uh, I've got this big screen over here, 4K screen. There's the screen of the MacBook Pro there. And as you can see, this down here is the Stream Deck. And if I change application, this one here, so I'm gonna change over to the Mail app, you can see that it changes the buttons. So I'll go back into another application, I could go into shortcuts, I've got a different set of buttons there. And if I go into drafts, different set of buttons there. So this is the beauty of using Stream Deck, and it gives you the buttons that you need, when you need them, and where you need them. Also, taking this into consideration, it was a good idea to start fresh and new. In any case, I don't think there's a way to copy across the settings from the Elgato software into Better Touch Tool. I've started this process already, so I've set up a button which will balance the windows using the shortcut set up in SKHD for Yabai. Check out my previous video for more details on that window tying app. It's quite good. I like it. Most of the keystrokes I'm going to use in Yabai, I'll do directly from the Mac keyboard. It'll be handy, though, to have one or two that I probably won't remember straight away on the Stream Deck. So that's one there. Balance, and it does it with the Shift, Option, and E. So quite a simple one there. I've set up the button which runs voice control with a toggle. I've also set up a button to do the paste without formatting. I'm of the opinion that pasting without formatting should be the default action when you use Command V. I wonder if I can go into settings and change that. I'll have a look and I'll get back to you on that one. So let's open Better Touch Tool and get started. As you can see in Raycast, I have an alias for that. I only have to type in the letters BTT and off we go. So the first thing to do before you get started is to go into the settings. So let's go to Better Touch Tool settings. And what I need to do is to go to Stream Deck and Click on this one here, Stream Deck Support Enabled. You'll need to put a tick into the box for Stream Deck Support Enabled. There's a button there, Show Stream Deck Documentation, which will take you to a web page with more information on how to set this up. I'm selecting Fully Controlled by Better Touch Tool. I don't need to run the official Stream Deck software or the plugins, and I'm going to have to configure everything in Better Touch Tool, and that works for me. So we can get that out of the way now that we've done that. Now we get started with the buttons in the Stream Deck and here are the ones I've done already. The first one here we're going to look at is the one called Balance and it runs the keyboard shortcut of Shift Option E which is in the SKHD program to balance the windows on the screen in Yabai. The next is a button I set up to run a shortcut called Voice Control and it toggles it on and off each time I press the button. I use Voice Control a lot. Have a look at my videos on Voice Control. Then I have a button called Paste Without Formatting. The keyboard shortcut is Command, Shift and V, and often forget that, so I'm going to have it in there on Stream Deck. I've set up a couple of Stream Deck buttons for a specific application. Let's have a look in Drafts. In Drafts, so far I've set one up, which is to Archive Drafts, so this is this one here. And what it does, it does the Command, Shift and A, and that will send the draft or drafts into the archive. I'll add some more buttons for this application as I go. I use Drafts a lot because it's the best application for inputting text. Let's go to MailMate now. Here I've got two triggers. One is Archive and the other one at the moment is Stream Deck button, but we'll change the name of that in a minute. A Stream Deck button here and this Stream Deck button is for deleting a message in the MailMate application. I've chosen the color red, which is appropriate for deletion and added an SF symbol for easier identification of the button. I use the application San Fran Symbols, which is this one here, to look for the code I needed to set this up. In this list of buttons on this left hand side here, you can see that it just says Stream Deck button, but I can change that. I can change it to Display Name of Delete Message. And I can click on Save, 
and that's changed so it's a bit more useful when we're looking at it through better touch tool and that just does a backspace i can remember the delete key or the backspace key to get rid of a message that's quite easy but the thing is if my hands are already on the stream deck for doing archive of messages and i want to delete one then it's useful to have that there on the stream deck as well so going back to the voice control one let's go back to all apps again so this one here with voice control and you see with this one here i've actually got an image of a microphone in there you've got four choices for the buttons which are using text on its own or color background emojis sf symbols or images obviously you can change the colors of the text sf symbols and the backgrounds let's set up a new button to use in mailmate the button i want to set up is a keyboard shortcut to synchronize the mail server it usually does this automatically but sometimes you want to force it and this will bring in any mail from the server onto your computer I'll show you first of all how I did it in settings. Let's go to settings, system settings. We're going to go to keyboard on the left hand side here. Then we're going to go to keyboard shortcuts. And in keyboard shortcuts, we want to go to app shortcuts. So far, I've just got one extra one for Mailmate. And if I do that there, you can see that it is file, synchronize all sources. And for that, I've got the keyboard shortcuts of hyperkey and dash. If I haven't done one already, I'm going to do a video showing you how you can set up a hyperkey. I'm using the application hyperkey to do it. You can actually set up a hyperkey in Better Touch Tool as well. So you don't have to use a separate application, although hyperkey is free and it's easy to use anyway. We've got to press the plus button in the left hand window. We get this drop down over here and we can select a trigger. And obviously the trigger we want to select is Stream Deck button. Then we go to the middle window and assign it the first action to the selected trigger. So let's click on this one over here. And the action that we want to do is to send the keyboard shortcut. This is the first one that comes up and it's the one we want. And this is where we're going to put in the hyper key plus the dash. So we can go to the display name, which is going to be Sing Mail Server. I'm going to click on save up there. Let's show the Stream Deck emulator. So this is what I've got here now. Okay, so let's work on the appearance of it now. Let's go into SF symbols over here and I'm going to type in mail. That should give us a few choices there. If I select the right category of all, we could do this one here, mail stack fill. So I'm going to go over to this one here. I'm going to get that onto the clipboard. I'm going to come across here to better touch tool and from SF symbols, we can put the symbol name in here. So I've got the symbol in there now, that's cool and click on that one there you can see that the pictures coming up in here we can change the color of this here as well so for instance if i want to have a dark a light color on there or whatever else let's uh, change that symbol style change that to custom color palette and we'll click on this one here choose from the colors here and let's go for um, let's maybe make it green okay let's go back to this here does it change if I click on okay that's changed to green Obviously, they could do the change the background color on there as well. So change the background color you do here. So choose whatever color is going to be good in the background. Let's put a light gray color or a darker gray color in there. Whatever works for you to make it uh, look good on the screen there. And you can see this is how it's going to work. Let's click on save. Now it's not showing up in this Stream Deck preview because I'm not actually in Mail, am I? So let's uh, go to the Mail application. The Mail app's down here. And as you see, I've got it on this here. And it's showing up on the Stream Deck as well as showing up on this Stream Deck preview. Okay, so let's just go back into this again. And instead of doing SF symbols, let's put a, an emoji in there because we can have different emojis. Let's go for mail, we can do a search and we could choose any one of these out of here. So let's do this one. So I've got this here, look. So what I want to do is I want to make it so it's big enough so it uh, fills the space better. Go to size and put it up at 56 points. Now you can see that it's um, actually on top of the other one that's in there as well from F SF Symbols. So you could have the two in there if you want to, but you don't have to. If I do a save on that there, and then I go into the Mail app, I can see what it looks like in this here, and I think it looks pretty nice, that one. We'll go for that then. That's fine. One thing I've noticed here is that when I'm using the uh, Mailmate application, I'm also seeing the buttons which I've set up, which are for all applications. So this one here is for Mail application, this is all applications, this is the mail application and so on. Well, I'm seeing other ones here as well, like this archive one. By the way, you can change these around as well. So if one of you move this here and have it closer to the beginning there, I can move that. 
So now I've got this one here which comes first after this one which has been set specifically to stay in this position whatever application is up. So I'm still left wondering what's going to happen when I get more than 15 of these icons on the screen here. Is there going to be any way of seeing what the overflow is? Are they going to just get lost? What's going to happen to them? I wonder. I'll find out and I'll let you know in another video. I've got a Stream Deck button in Obsidian. Um, I haven't got any set up for Finder yet, but uh, Finder's going to be a good one to set up a few of those. And obviously there's my one for Drafts, which is for Archive. And I'm going to put one there for deleting the drafts as well. It's also possible to have groups of buttons. This is where you have a button leading to another level of buttons underneath. So let's set up one of those now. So to do that, I'm going to click on this button down here. And this is a folder. It's going to be a folder for messages, say, or message applications. Now, I'm not going to use the Stream Deck for um, opening application because I'd rather do that with Raycast. But let's just do that for just showing you how things work with groups. So we're going to change this here, first of all, so that make it a... Um, a better image there so let's go to SF symbols and we'll put in the messages press enter and let's choose a good symbol for messages okay if we go for this one here message and waveform fill so let's click on that one there going to get the code for it over there and then I'm going to come into this one here and I'm going to change it from folder fill and I'm going to put in command V and it's going to be the messages fill there so let's just do that there and you can see now I've got this here instead and I can click on save and now it's going to be working out okay in this here. So here's a Stream Deck preview. This is what it's going to look like in here. Obviously I might want to change the background of that to something that's going to stand out a little bit better. So let's uh, click on this here, go to the colors and choose a color. That's going to be good for messages and choose that one for the moment. That'll do. Anything will do. I'm just showing you stuff at the moment. You can choose whatever colors you like. And this is what it's going to look like in the Stream Deck. Very pretty. Lovely. <laughs> like it. A nice cerise pink. Lovely. Let's go into this folder. Open selected group. And so we're in the group now. So we're going to click on this button here to put in a button for that's going to be inside this group here. And the, it's going to be a Stream Deck button. So click on that there. And we have to go back into open selected group again and click on this Stream Deck button. I'm going to select this to open up an application. So we're going to sign first action to the selected trigger. Click on plus there. And I've got to scroll down here a bit. OK, so we'll go for launch application. Still going to go back into this group again. Keeps going back and forwards on this one here, but still. We've got to choose an application. Select file or app. So you could have this open in a specific file in that, which would be quite good, I suppose. Let's do it for an application and a messages application. Uh, an application that I like, which is good for security, is called Threema. Not many people use it because it's actually an application you have to pay for. It's not expensive, but you still have to pay for it. If your threat level for security was high, then Threema is the one to use. Click on Open, so that's good now. So if I click on that button, it's going to open up the Threema app. And what I'd probably do with this one here is I'd go into the uh, Finder again. OK, here we are, Threema, and I'm going to Command C, and that copies that there. Then I'm going to open up Preview. I want to go to File and New from Clipboard. So here we are, New from Clipboard. Then what I'll do is go to File and Export, entitle it, Threema icon. Do use tags because tags will help you find things later on. You can put more tags in there as well if you want to. So I'm going to save it into Pictures application. I'm going to save it into PNG because I want to have the uh, transparent background at the back of it. So I click on Save. OK, so if I go into Pictures now, I've got my Threema picture in there. So there's the Threema icon in there, look. Let's go to the Stream Deck button, click on that one there. And we want to do it from an image file. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this here, and I'm going to drag that and drop that into this here. Dragged and dropped in there, that's working lovely. So now if I go into this folder here, I should be able to see that. So let's do that. So I'll set up that folder as a group there, and I've got the group here, which I click on this one here. And it'll take me through to the group and there is the group look and I've just set up the one application in there so far which is Threema and then this button here will take me back into the main Stream Deck view. So by default the Better Touch tool layout or Stream Deck buttons will flow from top left to bottom right. It's possible to set a fixed row and column for a button and in this case I've set voice controls so that it will be in row one, column one. So in this over on the right hand side here, change from appearance to configuration. And in this one here, use fixed row and columns, so row one and column one. And that means that's always going to stay in that position on the Stream Deck. 
There are a few other things that you can do on here to set things up. I mean, for instance, with the Stream Deck, you can have it set up so that it will do it with a long press. And you have to set a few things up. I'll do that in another video. So here's a long press action here. So you could actually have a button that does more than one thing. So one for just one press of the button and then long press it'll do something else. So there are more things I can do with this setup of Better Touch Tool and the Stream Deck. And what I'll do is I'll make another video when I'm further along with the process to show you what I've done with it. I'm Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and it's time for you to go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so that you'll get notified as soon as there are more tutorials being made available. I'm Dave Allen, bye bye now.